12th. Stick, we're ready for basketball. And we are underway, and it's a turnover for the Eaglets on their first possession. And it's 2-0 St. John's. And you can see it on the defensive end. St. Mary's can get a little loose with the basketball like they did on that first possession. Savory attack in the 10, spins, twirls, and scores. There he is, Trey McKinney, wide open for three. No, offensive rebound, Savory. And he's got a quick four for the Eaglets. Sherrod line right, the junior has an offer from Eastern Michigan. And others, nails the free throw. He is the point guard of this team, a combo guard, but really, really hangs his hat on the defensive side. And this is a guy like Garcia told us uh, before the ball game that said, look, left point for Joseph Taylor, a Duke commit in track. He runs the 200, 400, and 800. Kowalczyk from the corner, Splash City. Release, able to get it over Savory. How about that cut? Hot knife through butter in the paint, Sherrod Barnes. Expect to see momentarily. Titans down the avenue, left hand, Glasser's good. Got by three defenders. Eaglets by one, they went for two and got it. Trey goes for three and got it. Kachowski, who we'll see momentarily. Trey to the rack with a right hand, left side scored it. After the Daniel Smythe steal. Vision one prospect, he's one of their brightest and best and just a ninth grader. Deep three, that's Ray's Kowalczyk at it again. With an offensive reset. He'll put up a three. Splash City from Zip. A little Zip sauce. One for one with Zip getting his. Zip on the defensive side. Can't hang with Jalen Murphy. Sets it up. High ball screen from Wisniewski. Back to the big boy down the boulevard. And Mason banks it in. Long and... Thin this team to the rack off the bounce. Joe Taylor with a deuce. Yeah, of course, no shot clock in the state of Michigan. Trey will take it, pull up elbow jumper, got it with three seconds to go. 100 player stick, but they've got a lot of guys that have a chance to play at the next level and are talented. And this guy is one of them. That's Jalen Murphy. Something that can change games. Yep, speed on speed here. Junior against the freshman, zip crossing him down. 15 foot fade away is fresh. How about it? Checks out after a short assignment. Three ball, dead spot right. Jalen Murphy, Splash City. And then great stroke from the line, too. This guy's just a pure scorer. St. John's is eight of nine from the floor. And the stripe for the Road Titan to have tied it at 22. Jaden Savory with a banger and a finish off the window. Kick to the corner. And the left hand layup right side is clean of Detroit. Force turnover Smith, Savory, Barnes. Layup good. Made it tough. On the defensive side, Sherrod with a tough task here. Pull up jump shot good and who can stop Jalen Murphy? Averaging 20 points on the year, over 30 offers. One of the best players Eagles by two, 60 seconds left. And those are big misses going into half with how hard Toledo St. John's has played to stay in this game. But that's the guy right there, the game changer so far. Hines to Savory down the avenue! And the hammer brings the Eaglet crowd to the ride. He said they're happy to live up to that tonight. <laughs> He said St. Mary's a team that has just few, few weaknesses. And right. Inbounds all alone, and Kowalczyk steals one. Of the sets and the discipline and, and, and really the talent of the St. John team. Trey steps into a 17-footer and splashes. Beamer to the right point. Joseph Taylor two-teamed. Todd Covert wants to travel. Didn't get it. Short corner right, floater off the glass is good. Just pulling up and shooting, but there you see some defense. Force turnover, Savory ahead from Andrew Smith. Kowalczyk misses the free throw, makes the second. Trey jumper, got it. Ripping a steal, Trey on the move to the rack. Blocked by Kowalczyk, but Smitty picks it up 
and scores the loose change rebound. Todd Colbert says, where's the foul? The official says, there is none here, sir. Here's another look. You get Trey McKinney on the steal here, and there he is leading the break again. I thought he was going to drop it off to Sherrod Barnes, but he's the step through to take it. Tough to see if there was a, a foul there. Opening night, CHSL, and a two-handed lay-in is just the right recipe for into the future. And Ethan James, good ball entry to the post, and the scoop and score, and Taylor, final 30 seconds of the third quarter, in their first game in Michigan. Pick of the pocket, Sherrod the other way, got it. Give them 10, and the Eaglets steal another. They're plus 11. Mike, that's his second with two seconds left. Free throw's good for Murphy. That's his first point to the second half, and it comes after seven minutes and 58 seconds it expired already in this quarter. Sometimes getting to the line when you're a scorer gets you going. See it go through, and he does twice. Two and six. They go all the way to the semifinals, just like the St. John's team did. Jaden Savory putting on a show. He's got 16 points. Down low, layup good. That's Coy Hammock. Appear to be going anywhere. Now, this is the part of high school basketball, though. You wish there was a shot clock. Trey McKinney, hot knife through butter, scores it. If you're a good scorer, you're going to get the benefit of those whistles. Yep. 16 in the first half, just three now with that made free throw in the second half. All free throws in the second half. That's right. Tip of the cap to the Eaglet defense. It's done a good job against this Jalen Murphy-led club. One of the returning starters. Yeah, that's right. Murphy for three, bringing rain, no. Jade with a big boy rebound, a better outlet. Trey down the avenue, laying good. State of Ohio's state championship. Savory down low against three, doesn't matter. He's on tilt, he's got 18. 3.30 left, time winding down. All alone, Kowalczyk, Splash City, not the guy you wanna leave open. We'll keep it right here with 3.23 to go. No doubt. Layup good and the foul. That's Trey M -M 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 McKinney with a hoop in the harm. He's got 19 and the Eaglets push the lead to a dozen. And I say try to slow him down, but that's much easier said than done, especially we talked about it earlier. When he gets that full head of steam, you either got to take the hit or hit him. That's it. <laughs> Those are your only two options. He's gotten so much better this year. As coaches talk about the athleticism and uh, the leadership also that he's starting to display. His younger sister, Carson, a freshman at St. Mary's. And... Um, this is a guy that's really developed his left hand as well as passing. So much to like about him. Student leader, student government. Brother Rice leads UAD right now, 52-43. Trey with 20 points and Eaglet high. Savory with 18. Daniel Smythe with his first bucket of the night on a fresh backdoor feed. Lean athletic. All alone, and that's a mistake. Jalen Murphy sticks one, and Todd Covert says, that's the one guy or two guys you can't stay off of. Pass by Barnes on that play. Savory with a rare non-finish. Kowalczyk finishes the assignment there. Reverse, and Trey saves and scores it. And uh, slowly across that timeline is Trey McKinney, 22 points for the ESPN number 12 player in the class of 2025. And you know what, it honestly seemed like a slow game for him too. This wasn't his most impressive performance. And that's what you know, you're a talented player when you can have an off game and put up 22. That's right. We'll have our G of the game following this one. Got some fresh new lids from our friends at G Brand USA. Saw those walking up, looking nice. Yeah. Corner, Smythe, and uh, classy young lad Daniel is. He'll dribble it out, and this ball game is over. Eaglets win it. It wasn't always easy. They tackle the Titans in Orchard Lake tonight, 61-49. The ball game is over. The program is not. We'll have post-game reaction. We'll talk to Stick. And our G of the 
game is coming up just around the corner. St. Mary's protects the home nest in Dabrowski Fieldhouse and knock their newest familiar rivals, St. John Jesuit, tonight. Eagle at 61, Titans 49.